स्टूडेंट्स बात चल रही है एच डी एल सी की और स्टूडेंट्स हम लोगों ने ये डिस्कस किया था कि देर आर थ्री डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फ्रेम्स दैट आर डिफाइंड इन एच डी एल सी द आई फ्रेम द एस फ्रेम एंड द यू फ्रेम अब स्टूडेंट्स ऑन द स्लाइड वट यू कैन सी इज वी हैव गॉट थ्री डिफरेंट टाइप्स एंड थ्री डिफरेंट फॉर्मेट्स ऑफ द फ्रेम्स द फर्स्ट वन इज द इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रेम और द आई फ्रेम स्टूडेंट्स इन द केस ऑफ आई फ्रेम्स दीज आर यूज टू डेटा लिंक टू कैरी डेटा लिंक user data and control information related to this user data so in this in this particular case your uh, the actual user information actually consists of the data that's related to um, the the data that that's being carried students so in the case of s frames they are they are used only to transport the control information no user information in there as you can see there is no field for the user information in there there is only a Uh, forward correction uh, or, or an fcs checksum and and we have got two flags address and a control field so students then you have got the u frames and uh, the information that's carried by using the u frame is basically meant to be the management information uh, the 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 information that is required to manage the link itself students so as you can see each frame in hdlc that you have on the slide it may contain up to six fields students so um you have a beginning flag field in all cases and you have got a an ending flag field as well students so then you've got an address field a control field and an information field um a frame check sequence or an fcs field and then and then you've got uh, the ending flag that we have already um, discussed so students in multiple this is an additional concept that you need to know in in the transmission where we are sending frames after frames we are sending multiple frames uh, we can uh, use the ending flag of one frame as the beginning flag of the next frame just to uh, to save some of the additional overhead that we are going to be sending Uh, to illustrate the sending the starting and the ending of a frame so friends before we leave this um, particular slide let's discuss a little bit about what each of these fields does flag field as you already know uh, we have got um, this there is a synchronization pattern that we send using this flag field and it identifies both the beginning and the end of the system so um, this pattern as because it's a bit oriented protocol this pattern is going to be 0111111010 and the same thing for um the ending flag as well students uh, the second one is the address field and as i told you this field contains the address of the secondary station students if the primary station it it actually creates a frame it it contains a two address as well so so basically there is going to be uh, the address of the secondary station um which is given by the true address and then if a secondary station is going to create this uh frame then it's going to be a there's going to be a from address in there as well the third frame is the control field and the control field is one or two bytes and it is used for the error the flow control and the error control and it's basically flow and error control so it's then you've got the information field there is no information field in the s frame as you can see but this field uh, in i frame contains the user data from the network layer and in the case of um u frame it contains the management information for the uh, link and then students lastly you have got the frame check sequence the fcs field and this fcs is the hdlc error detection mechanism and it can it can contain um the frame check sequence can contain two or four uh bytes and those bytes are nothing but our famous uh crc that keeps on showing up 